Hey there, fellow electricity enthusiasts. Welcome back to Electricity Frenzy, the channel where we dive deep into the world of electrical wonders. Today, we've got an electrifying topic to discuss, the mystery of 240 volts without a neutral wire. Have you ever wondered why some appliances or devices use 240 volts without needing a neutral wire? And what if you accidentally plug them into a lower or higher voltage outlet? Well, worry not, because we're about to shed some light on this intriguing topic. Before we get into the nitty gritty, let's quickly refresh our memory about AC power. In the USA, the most common household electrical system operates at 120 volts, which uses two wires, a hot wire, usually black, and a neutral wire, usually white. Together, they form a circuit that powers your lights, fans, and various devices. 240 volts power, going double trouble. Now, let's zoom in on those appliances that use 240 volts without requiring a neutral wire. These are typically heavy-duty devices like ovens, dryers, and air conditioners. Instead of using a single hot wire and a neutral wire, they use two hot wires, each carrying 120 volts. When they combine forces, they create a circuit that delivers a whopping 240 volts to power those energy-hungry machines. Split-phase wiring so, how does this magic happen? It's all thanks to the split-phase wiring system in the USA. The power distribution center in your neighborhood takes the 240 volts power from the electrical grid and transforms it into two 120 volts lines. These two lines are out of sync, meaning they have a 180-degree phase difference, which allows them to work together effectively. No neutral, no problem, the balanced load. You might wonder why some 240 volts appliances don't need a neutral wire. The secret lies in their design. These heavy-duty machines are specially crafted to handle a balanced load between the two hot wires. This means that the electrical current flowing through one hot wire is equal to the current flowing through the other but in the opposite direction. As a result, there's no need for a neutral wire to balance things out. It's like having a perfect partnership between the two hot wires. The perils of plugging into the wrong voltage. Now, Let's talk about what could happen if you mistakenly plug a 240 volts appliance into a lower or higher voltage outlet. If you connect it to a 120 volts outlet, the device won't receive its required power, and it might not work at all. On the other hand, if you plug it into a higher voltage outlet, like 277 volts, it could lead to disastrous consequences. The appliance's internal components might not handle the excess voltage, leading to electrical sparks, damage, or even a fire hazard. So, Always double-check the voltage requirements of your appliances before plugging them in. There you have it, folks. The mystery of 240 volts without a neutral wire unraveled. We've explored the concept of split-phase wiring, the balanced load, and the importance of matching the right voltage for your appliances. Now you're equipped with this electrifying knowledge to stay safe and informed in the world of electricity. If you enjoyed this electrifying content, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to Electricity Frenzy for more electrifying insights. Until next time, stay charged and stay curious.